Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore for live stream updates of the games and, of course, breaking news as well. Please check out seatjohn.ca and use the code Sense Talk to get discounts on your Senators tickets. Tonight's game, well, last night's game was against the Los Angeles Kings. Coming into this game, the Kings were winners of their last six. The Kings' starting goalie was Darcy Kemper. And for the Senators, uh, the same lineup as uh, the prior night against Anaheim. Uh, Frederick Clayson was still a scratch, and Mike Conan got the start. To the first period we go here in Los Angeles. 14 minutes into the period, Sanders and Kings, plenty of chances. Sanders right off the bat looking much, and I mean much, much better. And uh, it all goes away. Tanner Pearson, one nothing. since by Tyler Toffoli. A nice, a beautiful pass from Toffoli. Goes right around Ben Harper. And Ben Harper, six foot seven, over 200 pounds, should use his body there and body check him like Mark Mathot style. Let Toffoli walk right by him. Pearson, no chance for Condon. one nothing Kings. But less than two minutes later, Matt Duchesne, his second as a Sander, sixth of the year on the power play, assisted by Bobby Ryan and Eric Carlson. No chance for Kemper there. Ottawa ties it up and one on a quick response, which was a very, very normal thing in this game. Second period we go. Five minutes in. If yeah, follow. He's like a rookie, I believe. Second of the of the season. Wrist one glove side on Mike Condon as um, Derek, Derek Broussard was covering him. He lost his man. He got tripped up by a uh, FLO, I believe. FLO was on, all alone with Odia covering. Obviously, Odia can't do anything. Condon can't stop it. Kings take the lead again. It's two to one. Brown and Drew Doughty with the assists. But three minutes later. Once again, the Sanders are not going away. John Gabriel Pajot knocks home a rebound to tie it on his third of the year, assisted by Ben Harper, his first point in the season, and Gabriel Dumont, his first point as an auto Sander. And Sanders tie the game at two, going to the third period. Four minutes left in the game. Sanders are pressing as the Kings are one of the better third period teams in the league. Kings pressing, Sens pressing, Sens are not going away. Get a few chances, but a face-off win finds Brown tipping it past Condon with less than four minutes to go. This is by Fallen and Anze Kopitar. And with less than four minutes to go, the Sanders are down by one. It's 3-2. And my heart sank. I watched the whole game. That my heart, This is like 12-30, uh, like 12-40. My heart sank when this happened. Oh my god. It was brutal. And I mean brutal when that goal went in. Ugh. It was awful. Absolutely awful. Sanders did not deserve to lose this game in regulation. They deserved at least a point. And let's see if they can do that. With 15 seconds to go, Sanders are playing the puck. He, Mike Hoffman keeps the puck in, finds Duchesne. Duchesne waits, passes it. D- Kemper makes a save. Ryan to Zingle Bells. Zingle Bells scores. And the Sanders tie it at three in the final eight seconds. Ryan Zingle, who's been on fire the past couple of games, looking really good. His ninth of the season, clearly a top six player. Ninth of the season, Ryan Zingle, eight seconds ago, scores. I was going absolutely crazy at one in the morning here, jumping up and down. Absolutely amazing. One of the better feelings I've felt in quite a while because it's been quite a while since the Sanders have had an exciting game, uh, as you all know. Um, except that Islanders game. So when they tied it there, oh, I was so, so happy. Uh, it was magical. It felt like a playoff game in some ways. We go to overtime. Sanders get a much-needed point. Um, let's see if they could get two. Ryan Dezingle is hooked. The uh, officials don't call anything. Drew Doughty is on the 2-on-1. He beats Conn in 5-hole. The Kings win 4-3 in overtime. Kopitar with the assist. Doughty with the fifth goal of the season. And this goal should not have counted. Um, Zingle was clearly hooked, missed the call, brutal missed call, led to the Kings getting the extra point. The Sanders got a point, the Sanders looked very good, I mean very good in tonight's game, and, you know, um, there is still, there's still a chance for the Sanders to make the playoffs here, um, uh, it's not a good one, it's not a good one, um, they're in a tough spot right now, um, but they do have a good chance to make the playoffs still, it's a very bad division, the Atlantic division it is, got Tampa Bay and Toronto, you know, if, Boston, they're very injury prone. If a few other players, if two or three other players get injured, they can fly down quickly. If Tuka Rask gets injured, they're done. They, they don't have enough goalie depth. McIntyre doesn't have enough experience, so the Bruins could be done. God, God forbid that happens, though. But just saying. Um, and the Canadians, if Price, God forbid, gets injured, I don't know, you saw what happens when Price is not there. So Sanders have good opportunity here, even with Rask and Price and these players still healthy. Sanders are a good enough team. Um, to make a run for the playoffs. Um, 
They're only five points back with two, three games in hand on the Canadians. Uh, they have one game in... I think they have a game in hand or don't have, or they're tied with the Bruins. They're five points back of both teams. Um, and you know what? They're playing them uh, quite often uh, the rest of the year. So the Senators should take this game, look at it, and see, wow, we played a good game. We played against the hottest team in the NHL right now, and we got a solid point. We didn't give up, and we played like the pesky Sanders of 2014 and 2013. So it's a negative that we lost. We did get the point, though, loser point. A positive, the Sanders look like the Sanders that we expect. Um, for the most part, Conan stood on his head. Plenty of offensive chances. Um, ben Harper, you know what, except for that Toffoli goal, I think he's a good fit next to, uh, next to Carlson. If he uses his body more, he could be another like Mark Mathot kind of player. But besides that, um, Sanders played a good game, I, I can't lie. Um, it gives me some more hope. The Sanders should be able to improve from here and hopefully um, start making a run because they're playing... San Jose on Saturday, and then after that, they're playing Buffalo, where there was no excuse to lose that game. Then you're going home to play the Rangers, so <clears throat> there's opportunity here. If they beat San Jose and Buffalo, they'll get seven points and break 500 on the road trip. They need to they need to win those two games, in my opinion, but they play like they did last night. I don't see why they can't. So the shots and goal from tonight's game, 16-11 Ottawa after the first period, had a strong first period. After the second, 13-10 Kings. After the third, 14-13 Senators. Overtime, one nothing shots. The game-winning goal by Doughty. Final was 40-38 Senators. Team stats, face-offs. Kings dominated 37 face-off wins, 56.1%. And the Senators, 29-43.9. Ottawa power play got going tonight, 1-4. for four, Plenty of chances. Kings went 0-1. for one. Uh, Hits for 23-23 tie and shots 40-38. The third start of the game, Tanner Pearson for the Kings with a goal. Second start, Dustin Brown with a goal and assist. And the first start, Drew Doughty with a goal and assist and a plus one rating. The Senstock YouTube star of the night was none other than Ryan Dezingle. Uh, no, let me rephrase that. Ryan Dezingle had a good game. None other than Matt Duchesne. He had his first career multi-point game with the Sanders. He looked very good. Um, best game of his career since uh, the Sweden games. He looked good. Sanders didn't get the extra two points, but they got one. Duchesne was a big factor in tonight's game. I forgot to mention that uh, Eric Carlson broke his 10-game ten ten game point slump. Got a point tonight. Hopefully, they'll get him going. So, the depth pieces got it going tonight. And the, piece, the pieces that we want to start scoring scored. Good. It was a good game by Ottawa. Let's see if they can continue it Saturday night, I believe, against the San Jose Sharks. As well, the Sanders did announce uh, their alumni game. Uh, uh, participants uh, for December 15th on Parliament Hill. Mike Fisher, Alexi Yashin are the, are the headline ones. Wade Redden is participating as well. There's some really cool players that are going to be here on the 15th in Ottawa. Uh, so please check it out on the Senators website. It's very cool. It's going to be cool to see all these alumni, alumni uh, play. So it should be interesting to watch, especially in Parliament Hill. So I look forward to that. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll see you Saturday night. So thank you all for watching. Please follow us on Twitter at Sensetalk underscore for live to updates of the games and, of course, breaking news. Please like us on Facebook at Sensetalk. Add a search circles on Google Plus at Sensetalk. Click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video. Share this video or every share cool stuff. Please, please, please check out our website, our sponsor, seatgiant.ca, uh, with the code SENSETALK to get discounts to Sanders tickets. Please check out our website, sensetalkcentral.com. We update it every single day. Click right here for the season playlist, right here for the most recent upload, and right here to subscribe to us. Thank you for over 360 subscribers. I really appreciate it, guys and girls. I'll see you Saturday night when the Sanders look to get another point or two against the San Jose Sharks. Let's see if they can do it, boys and girls. I'll see you then. Go, Sens, go.